Hi everyone, I'm Angela Saeva. I'm a certified Equivo practitioner and a certified Equivo instructor. Um, this is Rio Pones. And normally we'd be gearing up to teach our foundation course this weekend, but um, with everything going on in the world right now, we've had to postpone our classes. So because of that, we thought we would teach you guys something that you would normally be learning on that first weekend so that we don't feel like we completely missed out. What I'm going to teach you today we call the emergency moves. It's a set of four moves and we use them at the beginning of an equibo session to help set the stage for the work we're going to do. So we often will show this to our clients because it's just a great tool to have in your toolbox. It helps the horse shift into that um, state where we can rest and digest and that's where the healing occurs. Okay, so the muscle we're going to be working on is this longissimus dorsi muscle. It's the one that we sit on and our saddle sit on when we ride. It's the longest back muscle, which is just what that means when you translate it from the Latin. And what we need to do is landmark. So we need to find the scapula, which is this big shoulder bone right here. And you can palpate and find the edge of it. See how my hand just kind of falls off? That's gonna be the edge of her scapula. Now every horse is gonna be a little bit different. So you can just kind of run your hand. You're gonna find a dip and then you're gonna come and fall off it. And that's gonna be the edge of your scapula. The other thing we need to find is the shelf of the ribs, and that's different on each horse as well, and some horses who are well-kept can be harder to find than on others. So there's two ways that we can find the shelf of the ribs. We can come down until we meet it, or we can take our fingers and our hands and go up. And up is sometimes easier when it's your first time trying to find it because there's a little bit of a um, ridge and you'll just fall right into it, okay? So it might be surprising. Her, her longest mistorsi is actually quite broad for the size of horse that she is. Um, so that's why it's really important that we do our landmarks first. Okay, first I'm gonna to explain to you how you make your moves. So when we're standing on the same side and we're going to make moves on both sides of the horse, we're gonna use our thumbs, we call this the goal post, for moves we make on our side. We're gonna put our fingers together for the moves that we make on the opposite side. So when we have goal post hands, what we want to do is take skin slack toward us. We wanna then breathe out and wait for that tissue to deform underneath our hands. And basically, you'll just start to feel that the tissue will soften and your thumbs will sink a little bit deeper. This is where we're building the piezoelectric charge. And this is how we communicate with the nervous system. So once we've waited and we've got a bit of that challenge built up in our piezoelectric charge, we're going to make our move by moving our thumbs and the skin, but not sliding. Okay? And then we lift and float. Now we're gonna put our fingers together and this is how we're gonna make that same set of moves but on the other side of the horse. So, you're going to take that skin slack now away from you. You're going to keep that, those two fingers together and do the same thing where you're gonna just breathe and let that tissue deform underneath your fingers. Once you feel like you've got that deformation, you're building up your piezoelectric charge, you're gonna take your two fingers and move them together now, this time towards you without sliding, and lift and float. It doesn't seem like much, they are small moves, but I can already see that she's reacting. She's passed gas, she's exhaled, she's lifted and chewed. I can see some fasciculation in her longissimus dorsi muscles. So that's really all that it takes. It's pretty amazing. Okay, so now that you know how to make the moves, what we're going to do is a series of four moves. We're gonna make two with our thumbs and two with our fingers, and it's just gonna be a sequence. We're gonna start on um, our side, move to the far side, come back to our side, and then move again to the far side. So to map this out, we've gotta find the edge of that scapula, and we wanna keep this hand width in between for now. So we're just gonna put your thumb down and bring your other one to meet it. Now we're gonna take that skin slack to the shelf of her ribs. Breathe and make that challenge. Make my move. Now I wanna to try to go exactly that same spot, but on the other side. So I'm gonna put my fingers together and I'm gonna to try to make an imaginary line as I go. Now I can just take that skin slack down with me till I reach the shelf of her ribs. I'm gonna keep that challenge going. 
once I feel like I've got a nice good challenge positive electric charge I'm gonna make them move toward me by pulling my fingers toward me just a little bit no sliding lift and float now I'm gonna come back over to my side this time we're gonna to go toward the scapula so not where we made the first move but just part way between her scapula and where we made the first move goal post thumbs take your skin slack down so you meet the edge of those ribs challenge breathe out build up that charge make my move lift and float now my fingers go across the other side trying to keep that same path as best as you can so you hit the shelf of those ribs build up your charge gently and with patience and then you're going to bring those fingers back towards you to make your move lift and float and that's it you've got your emergency moves done Okay, I'll show it to you one more time in the full sequence. Once I finish the moves, I want to not touch her as hard as it is to not pet the pony because I want to watch for some integration. So see how she lift and chewed, she's dropped her head. We're watching for any breathing changes, exhalations, yawns, any signs that we see that mean that the moves have been integrated by her nervous system. Thank you, real palms. Okay, there you go. You just learned how to do your first set of equibo moves. This is what we call the emergency moves, and they're really helpful to have in your toolbox. You can use them with your horse, you can use them with your dog or your cat. You can pretty much use them with anybody. It's super safe. You don't have to worry about uh, getting into too much trouble if you're not in the right spot. No problem, you just practice. Find the shelf of those ribs and make your moves. Be slow and be patient. And, um, you know, this is a hard time for a lot of people, so we just want to do anything we could to try to offer a little bit of support even though we can't get together. So if you guys have any questions or you'd like to see any other videos, send us a message, um, send us some videos of you guys practicing your equable emergency moves and we'll give you some feedback. And for now, stay safe and stay in touch.